Hello and welcome. In this lesson, we are going to look at the operators in Python. My name is Mildred. In Python, we have operators that we use to perform different operations. The first operator we are going to look at is the arithmetic operator within arithmetic. And under the arithmetic operator, we have operators that we use with numeric values. Like the plus sign is used to add two numbers together. We have the minus sign that we use to subtract two numbers. We have the asterisk sign, which is multiplication in Python, that we use to get the product of the numbers. We have the forward slash, which is the division sign that we use to perform division operation. We have the percentage sign, which is known as modulus. And what percentage does is to give us the remainder of a division. So let's say, for instance, we have x is equal to 5 modulo 2, and we decide we want to print x. Now, when we print x, we are not getting 5 divided by 2. We are going to get the remainder of 5 divided by 2, which is going to be 1. And when I save and run this, we should have 1 printed. So the modulo operator is what you use to get the remainder of a division. And this will come in handy because when you need to do things like um, create a function that returns all odd numbers or all even numbers, this is something you will use to get that working. We have the double asterisk, which stands for exponentiation. So let's say double asterisk like this. It means that if I say 2 double asterisk 3, it only means that 2 raised to the power of 3, which will give us 8 when we print. So let me just say print 2 raised to the power of 3 and if all is well I should get 8 printed out. We have the floor sign which is indicated by double forward slash and this rounds the results down to the nearest whole number. So if I say 3 divided by 2, what this will do is that it's going to print out 3 divided by 2 but round it down to the nearest whole number. So let me clear so you can see. And then I will save this, I will run, and you get 1. So what it does is rounds down, it doesn't round up. Um, so these are the arithmetic operators that we have in Python. In Python, we have other type of operators that we use to assign values to variables, and we call these the assignment operators. You have seen that we use equal sign to assign a variable. The equal sign is used to assign a value to a variable. We have this plus equal, like this. And what this means, if you say x plus equal 4, for instance, it's the same thing as saying x is equal to x plus 4. So it's a shorthand form. So most of the time in programming, you see something like x plus equal, or you see something like x minus equal 4. You see something like s asterisk equal 4, or x slash equal 4, or x exponentiation equal 4, or x equal 4. So all of this means the same thing. And what it means? is you are saying x is equal to x plus 4, x is equal to x minus 4, x is equal to x times 4, x is equal to x divided by 4. Here will be x is equal to x, double asterisk 4. This will be equal to x is equal to, this is x is equal to x modulo 4. And so we have all of the different um, shorthand written like this. We have logical operators. And for logical operators, we have the AND, we have the OR, and we have the NOT. Now, what AND does is that when you say, for instance, X equal to, let's say X is greater than 5 and X is less than 10. What it does is that it's going to return true if both conditions are true. So if X is greater than 5 and at the same time it is less than 10, it is going to return true. Otherwise, it returns false. If we have the OR operator here, it means that if either part of the operation is true, return true. So if x is greater than 5, it will be true. If x is not less than 10, it is still going to be true because you use all, so it's either or. We have the not, which just reverses it. So if we say, for instance, we want to say not this, so it's going to evaluate this, and it's going to say x is greater than 5. So let's say x is equal to 6. So x is greater than 5 is true. X is less than 10. Let's say it's true. So it returns true. Then you say not true will now be false. So not just reverses what the answer evaluates to. We have something called the comparison operator. And for comparison, 
if we want to check if x is equal to 5. When we say x is equal to 5, we're assigning 5 to x. But if we want to check if x is equal to 5, we use double equal. So this checks if x is equal to 5. If we want to see if x is not equal to 5, we use the exclamation mark equal to 5. So this evaluates to x is not equal to 5. Comparison, we can use the greater than sign to see if x is greater than 5. x is less than 5. We can use less than or equal to. We can use greater than or equal to um, for comparison. So these are the ways we compare um, two values or we try to see if a particular variable is equal to or not equal to or whatever comparison we want to perform. And this again is going to come in very handy when you start developing softwares, when you want to see if a particular value is equal to a particular condition or something and then you want to do something. We have something called the identity operators. The identity is just using the is and the is not like this. So if you want to say is, you want to say x is y, you want to just check is true if they are the same object and is false otherwise. So x is y, things like this. We are going to see a better application of this or x is not y and they are not the same object. We have the membership operators where we say um, in if x in y so sometimes you have a list of values from the database and you want to see if x is a value that is contained in the database so you say x in y if you want to see not in you want to see if a particular value is not in so these are the kind of applications we are going to use so let's say for instance we say we have a list of classes for instance and you want to say if student in from a particular list of class so if student is in any of these classes, do this. If student is not in any of these classes, do that. So we can also use that for page control, where you say if a student is um, registered in this class, display this page. If a student is not registered in this class, so in and not in, okay? And you can use is and is not. So we have the bitwise operator. We're not going to illustrate this because um, you, you will find application of this, but depending on what kind of systems you are developing, and the bitwise operator is something we have the ampersand sign which is the bitwise and written with all caps a and d we have the pipe operator which is the bitwise or like this we have the carat sign which is um xor we have the tilt sign and then we have the left shift and the right shift operator so these are the bitwise operators you can read more about it and see the applications of that so let's say we have x is equal to and let's say we have 5 plus 3 times 8 divided by 2 raised to the power of 3. if we have something like this let's print x and then we run we have 8.0 has the answer why do we have 8.0 it will say 5 plus 3 is what 8 8 times 8 is what 64 64 divided by 2 is what 32 32 raised to the power of 3 can never be 8. now this is where we start operator precedent evaluations in parentheses takes the highest precedent so you are going to start with 5 plus 3 which is 8 now it becomes 8 times 8 like this the next precedence is exponentiation which has the second highest precedence so once you have an evaluation with a parentheses that comes first the next highest precedence is exponentiation where you say 2 raised to the power of 3 is 8 and this evaluates to 8 times 8 divided by 8 and then when we look at this multiplication and division multiplication and division have the same precedent so they go in the order from left to right so you can multiply 8 times 8 divided by 8 or you can say 8 divided by 8 times 8 either way the final answer is going to be 8 in python parentheses has the highest precedent followed by exponentiation followed by the onary plus minus and bitwise not followed by the multiplication division floor and modulus operator followed by the addition and subtraction followed by bitwise left or right shift followed by bitwise and then bitwise x or then bitwise or followed by the comparison identity and membership then we have the logical nots the logical and and the logical or logical or has the lowest precedence so you start from parentheses, exponentiation, then onary plus, minus, and bitwise not have the same precedence, but are the third in the order. 
multiplication, division, floor and modulus are the fourth in the order and they have the same precedence. Addition and subtraction are the fifth, the same precedence. Bitwise left and right are the sixth, the same precedence. Bitwise and is the seventh. Bitwise XOR is the eighth. Bitwise OR is the ninth. Comparison, identity, membership are the same precedence and they are the tenth in the order. Logical not 11th, logical and 12th, logical or 13th. And this is where we end this lesson. In the next lesson, we are going to look at the Boolean in Python.